Hello, this is Arash Vasugi with Voss Coaching Co. I have got a very powerful lesson for you today. Now, I want you to think, and this is for everybody, I used to be one of these people, that you've studied personal development, you may have hired a coach, you went to seminars, you read books, but it still wasn't clicking. And, you know, for three years I did it, and I couldn't understand why. And once I understood why, it changed everything. So this is for you if you've been in that spot. Now, what happens is, first off, you have to understand that you haven't changed your programming yet. That's the number one reason. So you may have studied it, you may even be able to teach it, but you don't know it, you know about it. And how you could look at it is look at your results. Now I want you to really pay attention to this creation process. And my question for you is, are you sending your subconscious mind a double binding message? Now, right now, I want you to think about it. You have a choice. You could think any thought that you want. And you have a power that's flowing in and through you. And that power, within a second, you're either accepting ideas of what you really want, what your definite aim is, what your definite goal is, or you're, you're letting the outside control you. I want you to think about this. Now, in the morning you wake up, you have a great morning routine, you are auto-suggesting your goal, you're spending time visioning and mental rehearsing what you want, and you say, listen, I'm doing everything the right way. I want to take my income and improve it by 10 times. And you say, that's all I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about that. But, so you have your goal in your mind, and then all day long, are you operating with your goal, or, and this is the key, are you operating with a double binding message? So what I mean by that is, is your consciousness filled all day long with what you want, or is it in different pieces, and it's really coming in the old problem. So you're letting the outside, listen, I want to improve my income from 100,000 a year to 100,000 a month. I am visioning it, I'm doing it, but the results are telling me something else. So in my consciousness, I'm filling my mind with doubt of the old problem, the present results. Now I know that's what I did, and when I changed it, everything changed. So I'm not just filling my consciousness, or I wasn't just filling my consciousness with doubt, even though I was reading the books, I was going to the seminars, still nothing was changing because I was sending a double-binding message. I was transferring worry, doubt, and fear to my subjective mind. Now remember this, our subconscious mind is our powerhouse. And it is taking you where you take it by what ideas you plant in it. Now, if you are planting fear in it, even though you have a goal, even though you're visioning, even though you're visualizing, but if you're dominating thinking as fear, that's exactly what you're transferring. And this is very common. See, people think they're doing the right thing. They say, oh, I don't know why the results are not changing. Well, this is the number one reason it's not changing. You are sending out a double binding message, which you're in harmony with the old problem on a conscious level, which creates the same image, which is worry, doubt, and fear on a subconscious level, which get the same results. Now, how do you do it? What you want to do is you have a memory so you could, you know what your results are. You understand what the old problems are. However, now you're thinking. You are really a high thinker. You have made a definite decision, and this is where it starts. You have to make a definite decision. When you make a definite decision, your mind goes into this world-class energy, this energy way up here where magic is created. And you say, I have made a definite decision and I am only focusing on my goal. And now the old problem, even though it's still showing up in your results, you're not focused on it. Remember, we become what we think and feel about. And now you're building an image. What is that image? I am seeing myself already earning 100,000 or more every month with my example. It's 10 times what, what the goal, what I've done in my present. And you start building this image and building it, and then you start behaving like that person. 
you start saying, listen, I'm going to start researching the people who earn 100 or more a month. How do these people think? What is their morning routines like? How do they behave throughout the day? And you're filling your consciousness all day long with that image. And listen, the best part of this is you don't have to be perfect. You can have parts of the day where you go back into the old. But eventually, through, through the repetition of building that image, behaving like that person, mentally rehearsing. Now, mental rehearsing, this is a, a big idea on its own. What you're doing is you're closing your eyes. You're seeing yourself behaving like the person you want to become. And you are, with your eyes closed, you see yourself behave that way. But here's the trick. When your eyes are open, you're now behaving that way all day long. And as you do that, you are internalizing now your goal to your sub subconscious mind. Now you're not sending a double binding message and your subconscious mind, remember, has to take you where you take it. And now the goal is in your conscious mind, it's in your subconscious mind, and it's in your body. That is the creation process. And that is what is gonna create the results. Now this is absolutely essential to master. And it is so easy to do the opposite. Now this is where discipline comes in. Discipline is getting you to think what you wanna think, when you wanna think it, no matter what's happening outside. I want you to get that. Discipline is getting you to become a master at accepting what you want and become an even better master to say a hard no to anything that's not what you want. And as you do that, now you're not sending a double binding message. Now, most people who are stuck, they're letting the circumstance dictate their attitude. And when you let the circumstance dictate your attitude, that dictates your action. And it doesn't just dictate your action, it dictates you're now letting the cause not be your thinking, the cause is now the result and you have it backwards. Most people are making the cause be the effect and the effect be the cause. Just remember, in order to get to your subconscious, your power source, and your subconscious can only accept what you give it, and it takes you where you, what you, where you take it. And the only way we could get to the subconscious is through the conscious mind. The conscious mind is the entrance into the subconscious. And as you do that, you're gonna change your results. Now, I want you to watch this over and over again. Do a 30-day test for yourself. Really get it so emotionally involved in building the picture. The key is thinking what you want, regardless of appearances all day long. Now, I'll give you another trick that you can shortcut this. Anytime worry, doubt, and fear come in, you start automatically saying cancel and reaffirming your want. I'm so happy and grateful that I'm earning 100,000 or more every month. And as you do that, you're gonna build that through the repetition. Eventually, those thoughts are gonna be far and few. Master this, I will tell you that it's the difference between creating massive results or creating frustration. And my whole philosophy is you're, you're gonna be using the time anyway, you might as well be great. Go create an amazing life. Don't send yourself a double binding message any longer. Watch this over and over and over again, and you're gonna see the fruits of your labor and that is gonna be wonderful quantum leaps. Thank you so much.